Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about how we can wait for food. I have here some ingredients that I ate today or I am going to be eating today, but this is the easier part. I will get more in depth about how you can log your food and count your calories. Ready? I'm gonna switch the camera. So these are some of the items that I ate today. So I figured let me make a video explaining how I log this. For example, in the morning, I had this yogurt. This yogurt. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had a banana and I had this chocolate. It's not Nutella technically, but I wanted to put this uh, to show you guys how I log this. Okay. Uh, this I had for lunch with salmon. This is a mayo. Okay. Mayo. And then I have cashews for snacks during the day, okay? Now, let's talk about how you can log a banana. So let's say you're gonna eat a banana. We're gonna go ahead and wait it because you're gonna eat it without the skin. You are going to wait it without the skin. If you are very, very, very beginner at waiting food, this is a food scale as you can see here. I hope that you can see it well. Uh, okay, let me see. So I don't get anything cut off the video. Okay, so basically here, you will have a button that will say on. Make sure you have your plate on this, uh, so it goes to zero, so it's not counting the plates or, cause you see like it's really sensitive, as you can see the numbers changing. So if you can put your bowl or your plate before waiting your stuff, then it will be perfect. It will roll it to zero. Then we're gonna wait the banana. Okay, so. That's 60 grams, 61 grams, and that's 102 grams, okay? So sometimes I write it down on a piece of paper uh, so I can remember or... So here, you go ahead and you open your app, you go to breakfast, you go to search and log food, you search for banana, or you type it actually, you go to grams 104, and you click on log food and there you go food is logged and guys my camera just went ballistic and turned off after i waited the yogurt uh, so i just wanted to show you also how you can wait yogurt i waited some of this yogurt and i'll also show you how to log it into the system into the app uh, this is how much yogurt it was. It was 50 grams. Like I said, I go by grams. You don't have to. You can go by ounces. There's an option here on the scale, on any scale, so don't freak out. Or actually 90% of them out there. Um, so when you click on and you're waiting, you can change the grams. You, I don't know if you can see it. You can change the grams to ounces. Okay, so you can actually do that. You could change to kilograms. You could change... A lot in here okay so if you're not comfortable with grams you can do that i'm the most comfortable with grams i love to wait with grams i've been doing that for years so i'm most comfortable with that so as you can see we already waited the bananas they're already logged in the system already in the app now it's about time to log the yogurt and i wanted to show you guys how you can actually scan stuff so you go to the scan piece at the top you just scan the yogurt and it shows up what is that type of food just click log food, go to grams if you're counting with grams, 50 grams in this case uh, scenario, and then you just click log. You can see at the bottom how many carbs you ate all day if you go back. Before I got into this situation here, I just wanted to mention that this specific chocolate I get from store, that, that that's not regular. So if you're in America, you can scan any of these foods to enter them, to log them, okay? So it makes your life easier when you when you wait food all the time during the day. It makes your life a lot easier if you can just scan the product, shows up on the app, it's phage, 0%, all you have to do is put the grams and log. Uh, same thing for the mayo, anything that has a barcode, you can scan it and enter it in the system very, very easily. So for example, after you wait it, you have the grams, you, all you have to do is scan it to uh, pop it up on the screen. Now, the reason why I brought this up, because a lot of you probably don't live in the US and a lot of your products are not showing in the app. Uh, I have really great news for you. You can add those things to the app and that's the harder part. So you could just look up this thing, like scan the ball code and it just says, uh, item not found. All you have to do is just enter it 
this is the name, this is the ingredients, okay? You don't have to do that. Again, what I do when I buy stuff like this, it's chocolate, obviously it's very similar to Nutella. Um, so I'll just go and look at the Nutella ingredients. If they are very similar in calories, fats, carbs, and protein, I'm going to log it as a Nutella, okay? It's not the end of the world, but don't just go log, for example, chocolate like it's an apple, okay? They're not two identical things, but these are two identical things. As you can see, guys, this chocolate lasted me four days, okay? I freaking love chocolate. I'm an addict, so, but yeah, so that's one thing I was trying to show you guys, and this is something else I wanted, to, uh, I was talking about before my camera cut off right now. These are, this is 20 grams of cashews, 20 grams. These are salted and roasted, so they taste really good. So I'm going to write 20 grams of cashews. So I remember to show you guys. But fats are very high in calories. And this is exactly why I wanted to show you this on camera today. This is very, 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 very important. Because what I do personally, I will take this whole bag. And I'll just start freaking eating it while I'm in front of the TV. And then think to myself, well, cashews are not that bad. They're not that unhealthy. They're actually healthy food. But no, guys. There's nothing that's healthy in higher amounts, okay? doesn't matter if it's like if you take a whole banana. By the way, I saw a video of one girl eating a whole entire case of bananas. Don't do that. I don't recommend it. That's too high in carbs. Balance, guys. Balance. Everything's about balance, about eating a little bit of everything. Like I said, I love chocolate, so I eat it on a daily basis. So I'm not trying to deprive myself of anything unless, like I said, I'm competing or modeling or doing something outside of the norm, okay? Otherwise, I'm eating my cashews. I don't always wait this because I've been vlogging my food for so many years that I know uh, by number how many calories almost I eat, but still I log them. Okay, so 13 pieces approximately of this type of cashews will be 20 grams if you count them. Okay, um, so if you do double this, that's 40 grams. You got to log it just to have an idea where you're at. So in this part, I just wanted to show you guys how you can log in snacks or lunch or whatever you like, actually, uh, how to log the cashews. Cashews are high in calories, as I mentioned before. So you got to make sure you choose the correct one. Salted, I mean, I chose unsalted for this case, but it's salted in my case. And I chose 20 grams and I logged it. Okay, so as you can see, it's 114 calories. You gotta be careful, only 13 pieces will have 114 calories. If you go back, you can see at the bottom your daily macros. You can see how many carbs you ate, how many proteins, how many fats for the whole day. And of course, your daily total calories. So make sure you log. You know me, guys, I'm a huge fan of, um, you know, eating um, for your body type, eating the calories that you want. If I wanted to eat a pizza, I would be eating pizza, guys. I don't care. So that's about it, guys. Like I said, if I wanted to eat a pizza, I'll eat the pizza. Like, I would just log it. I'll just log all the calories. So that's that, guys. Like, I really hope that this helps. Just make sure you log your calories. It doesn't matter what you eat. You could be eating the most unhealthy thing on the planet. Log it, okay? Because if one day you say, I want to lose some weight, that would be so easy for you. You don't have to change your diet. All you have to do is when you log your calories, make sure your, cal your calories are a little bit lower than usual. That's all it is, guys. That's all it is. I'm not telling you to do any extreme math because your app is doing it for you. So you better do it for yourself, okay? You just, all you have to do is log. Just be a responsible adult that logs their food. with No lies, okay? No cheating. <laughs> You know, because sometimes I do cheat too. You know, you know, my freaking app, sometimes I'll eat an apple and be like, oh, it looks like a 50 gram apple. But no, it's more like a 100 gram apple, okay? That matters. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I upload content like this all the time. I'll see you guys soon.